careful. Candy store. Things a clunker, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm watching too damn much YouTube.
Actually working. I'm not gonna try and stop you. No. Just let it hit the wall. If it's gonna hit the wall, I ain't gonna hurt nothing. It's gonna hurt the wall. It's coming. I'm worried about it. Is that gonna stay on that side? What? The other side? You got enough to Yeah, I'm right on that. Other okay. side. This side's closer. This side's could come in. Well, I'll throw in gear if I have to. Catch a part. No, I didn't see the <laughs> You didn't see when it knocked me on my back. Knocked on your back? No. Alright, that's where it's gonna stay right here. I can jack it up and slide this under. Look at that seat's like a saddle. Thank you. 
There. Oh, it'll go. There we go. You can push that back. What? You can push that by hand. Yeah. Once they get up in the air, yeah. 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 Made for cars. Grab that board, will you? I forgot the bracket. Hey guys, what the hell am I into now? All right, well, got the uh, little 8N in the garage here and um, got the hood off of it. That was a bear. Um, it wasn't too bad except for, you know, these bolts haven't been turned in years. I don't know how long, probably, <laughs> I don't know how long. So uh, one of them I had to cut off with a, I took a Dremel, uh, the just a little cutting tool and cut it off um but anyway let me show you let me walk you around a little bit all right so uh there's the hood all in all it's in pretty good shape the grill needs to be pounded out a little bit um yeah so here's the grill i'm gonna straighten that back out and i'm probably gonna put a, a bumper on the front of this they make um pretty heavy duty iron bumpers that go on the front of these older tractors and uh because uh, you can't really see the you know that's pretty common to find those dents like that in these older tractors from what i've been looking at i'm not an expert but and by the way that winch is super handy i put that in years ago to change lawnmower blades and stuff like that and i've used it for a little bit of everything never figured i would use it for this but Anyhow, I got the uh, the wheels up on these rollers that I bought. I bought them for the boat, but they were too heavy. Or the boat was too heavy. They weren't heavy enough, I should say. And never really worked. So I'm using them for this. And if I could get air in that front tire, which it's it's a goner. There was a tube in there and it was all sliced. Um, if I could have got air in that tire, I would have lifted them all up evenly. And I would have been able to roll around with two fingers. So a little story, the Ford 8N was the first tractor I ever put my butt in and uh, learned how to back up a hay rake <laughs> with it. It was not easy at the time, but yeah. So this is, I'm going to run the serial number on it, but it's somewhere between, it's somewhere between a 47 and a 50. Um, in 1950 to 50 two i believe they had a side distributor which would be really nice it was a good upgrade um i'll run the serial number on this one and see this one's still a six volt uh, i'm gonna convert it to a 12 put an alternator on it and uh, the uh every, everything looks pretty good the oil looked good there was no water in it the motor is free it turn it uh, i can turn it by hand uh, the radiator is full all the way almost to the top. Doesn't appear to be leaking anywhere. The guy said it ran a couple years ago and it ran good. He used it a bunch. Um, the tires are going to need some love. Uh, they've got good tread on them. Like this one here, still got the, uh, you know, the rubber in the middle there where it was molded. That one's got good tread on it. Um, and the other one I know is filled. It's filled with water or some kind of, back in the day they used calcium chloride, which I guess they had some problems rusting the rims out with that. So that might be what's in this one. I don't know. And, uh, 
It, it took air. I pumped it up a good bit, but it looks like it might be. Looks like it's leaking right there. That's, I'm not really sure what that's all about. I'm going to take these off. I don't know if I need to get new tires or if I can put tubes in them. Or what, but uh, tomorrow I'm going to get into this a little bit deeper. It's getting kind of late now, and uh, I'm going to go in the house here, but yeah, lost the exhaust pipe on the way <laughs> on the way home. Right there, it was all rotten. I'll take that carburetor all apart, clean it out. The header's real solid. Everything's real solid on it. I'm gonna pull them plugs tomorrow and blow out all the crap on the top. Pull the plugs and put some penetrating oil down in there before I try to start it up, which that's gonna be down the road a ways. That ain't gonna happen in the next couple days. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this project. It's going to be uh, quite extensive, I think. I've never done anything like this. I'm not a mechanic, but I think um, I picked a good starter tractor. And this also has some nostalgia because, you know, I ran this tractor just a little bit when I was, when I was a kid. So not this very tractor, but this model and this somewhere in this time frame.